A nonverbal communication, it's uh, how the body language work, nonverbal communication based on a facial expression, posture, appearances. You guys know what's a nonverbal communication. Right. Uh, types of body language, we have a facial gesture uh, and postural and appearance, how people appear. Uh, receiving nonverbal communication, awareness of a nonverbal cues can give insights into a deep seated emotion. To some people, in their deep feelings, they can express them through their, you know, gestures. And uh, here are some of the reading body language. Let's see. Do you guys want to be experts in body language? Anyone would like to uh, play a role? Anyone? Raise your hand if you want to play a role. Raise your hand now. <clears throat> you want to do that? What's your name? Muhammad. Uh, yeah, this is what you, you you choose one of these, you do it, and then the students, other students, will need to find out uh, what are your unspoken words. Go ahead and do action. Can you see them? Yeah, come ahead. Can you see them now? Let's see. You will choose one of these, and then uh, you know you will uh, play roll it. And then students will need to know what message you're trying to send them. Okay, should I start? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> wait. Choose an easy one. Don't choose the most the difficult one. Uh, I need one. You know. And you have to act. You have to what? Okay. To act. I will yes. Uh, to, yeah, to act according to them. Yeah. No, we will not. I will make two. Will yeah, go ahead. Do one. Just one. Two for the same. Uh, no, just two, one. What is it now? Got it? Yeah, what's the answer? Uh, was he uh, helpful, confident, nervous, or superior to you? He was nervous, right? He was clearing his throat, right? <coughs> it, was, you know, it was obvious. He did. And he also removed his hand. Ah, okay. So when you remove your hands from your pocket, what does that mean? You don't have money. <laughs> you have only four <laughs> options. My hand. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, go back. No, they do this. They do this. I like Kareem, right? Oh, my God. That's an admirable message. Let's see. Nonverbal communication, uh, giving nonverbal feedback. Uh, it says here, are you guys okay? What's so funny? <laughs> All right. Uh, giving nonverbal uh, feedback. Uh, nonverbal feedback uh, from maturity figures significantly affect the boy behavior. Um, do you do you agree? Do you know sometimes like a sign from your big boss can make your day? Or another sign from your big boss can make your uh, positive feedback builds good interpersonal relationships. Uh, sensitivity and cross cultural <laughs> training can reduce nonverbal errors. When working with the individuals from other cultures, so it's also this nonverbal. It is different from one country to the other. You see, sometimes you look at your boss and they're coming from another culture. You think, why are they rude or why do they do that? After a while, you learn it's their culture. It's okay. Or... Upward communication, which is the process of encouraging employees to share their feelings and ideas with management. Uh, options for improving upward communication would be. For formal grievance uh, procedures, employee attitudes and opinion surveys, suggestion systems, open door policy, informal meetings, social media, and exit interviews. Any questions on these improving upward communications? No? Do you guys understand them all? Yeah. Any one of these you don't understand? That's good. Uh, you know, I'll just go over there quickly. Exit interviews is when someone leaving your company. You call them, hey, let me ask you. So you interview them when you got them in. When they leave, you also interview them. Because when they leave, they probably have good information for you as a manager. Social media, you see their comments on Facebook or Twitter maybe. Informal meetings is when you meet them on the side. Not a formal meeting, rather. Hey, what about we go for a coffee one day and we talk about what happens in your department. Open door policies, when you keep your door open so anyone who has a comment, they can come back to you. Suggestion systems, sometimes they have like 100 uh, hotline number or 
they have a box where people can write or an email anyone can send you or a website forum that says you know please write your uh, comments if you have any comments uh, employee attitudes and opinion surveys is like an official survey you send every year to your employees what do you think of this uh, and formal grievance procedures that's when you sign a petition right communication in the digital uh, workplace uh, digital communication has been revolutionary for computers so communication consumer electronics publishing defense entertainment industries there's a lot of communication that is happening uh, communication objectives effectively use data communication technologies uh, at your disposal and prepare for those technologies to come so there will be more communication coming in the future and it's good that you understand how to use them how many people in their workplace they use uh, uh, let's say Google Google uh, Docs and Google Drive and uh, Google Calendar or there's a lot of uh, communications that they provide that allow collaboration and uh, here in LIU, we started to use this new LMS system, which is a learning uh, learning system. It's an online learning system where uh, we can make sure that all students, they can go online, they submit their assignments there, they can get all of their grades from one location, and can organize students' activities and all their courses. But we do not have to use <coughs> uh, Every one of you, you need, has everyone logged into their UMS yeah. system? Oh. Now, when you log in, there is a place where it says, check your email. Yeah. So you need to activate it, your email. I don't know. Yeah, just activate it. It's activated and it will create an email, will give you the password, and then you can use it. And your email will be like your user ID, your student ID yeah. at. And, uh, well, the see now where you you're only e we're using assignments by email. Okay, it, this is like a short course, but maybe in your MBA courses. Some of these longer courses, you may be able to submit assignments on the online system. Ah, okay. So maybe we can share it. Yeah. Like a respiratory. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. We'll see how that will work. Yeah. That's true. Uh, communication objectives is okay. Uh, communicating in the digital. Uh, are you with them or with us? Uh, you want to? Uh, what do you want to do? Okay. Uh, dealing with the information overload, uh, clear objectives and priorities sharpens one's focus and fosters selective uh, perceptions. Aimed clutter and noise, and you develop a workplace uh, policy for social networking. Online social networking by employees is common, controversial, poorly controlled. What do you guys think is uh, should companies let their employees uh, use Facebook at work? Do you see? Yeah, uh, some people, some companies they don't allow you to use uh, even other email other than your work email. Some companies they don't let you even use a USB in your computer network because of security. So there's a lot of issues with communication in the digital workforce.